So Mike, congratulations. This movie, Caps Crossing, written and directed by yourself. How does it feel having your movie premiered here tonight at Arena Cine Lounge in Hollywood? Oh, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. It, it took four years to get here and an awful lot of work. And I feel like I'm still working right up to the minute that this is happening. So it's just uh, been a labor of love over the last four years. And it, it'll be great to finally have people see it outside the initial like 10 people that have really seen it. So it's, I can't wait for that. I want to watch people watch it. <laughs> so what was the inspiration behind making this movie? Um, I have some friends that we go camping with a few times each year and they were into something called geocaching which is a GPS treasure hunting game um, where people try to find things in the forest or urban areas or stuff like that and I go that's kind of interesting well how could you play off that what would you what is something they could find other than the coins or something like that and I came up with body parts so um, and we also were at this campground a lot when we did it that was called Caps Crossing and I said but that's not really enough what would the story be behind it and there was this uh, historic bridge on the campsite that linked to an old uh, gold mining claim and it had a bunch of graffiti on it where people would mark the years and stuff that they were together or just mark their names and I said well what are the story behind these people and so I kind of wove that into the whole thing what could what would happen with them so I created the whole story of a breakup, a guy loses his mind and he starts playing around the forest with geocachers and stuff like that. Sounds very cool, I can't wait to see it. Tell me a little bit about your amazing cast. Oh wow, um, we, we have a lot of cast that actually moved to LA now, about half our cast. Um, uh, at the time they probably, some of them came from San Francisco and Sacramento. Um, we were really trying to get local people but we ended up pulling from Tahoe and Reno and, and San Francisco, and they were just the best people to work with. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of massive credits behind them, but I, they, I was so happy with all their performances. They really delivered, and, and I couldn't be happier, and, and, and they're, they're going places. So when you sat down and watched the finished product, were you impressed with it, and, and were you happy with how it, it all worked out in the end? Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. You get to a point where it's like, this is where I have to stop. You can't just keep trying to change it over and over. And I was like, I have to stop. You know, the script's already been written. It's been shot. This is what, we could, this is what we're able to do with it. We're proud of it. It's hard to keep that distance. So I've probably seen the film about 400 times now. So I'm really too close to it to tell anymore. So that's why I'm kind of excited to see other people's reactions. Fantastic. Well, we can't wait to watch it tonight. Thank you so much for having a chat with us. Tonight's your night, so head on over, enjoy it, soak it up, and congratulations. Thank you so much.